In the next year, the people who come out ahead won't just be developers, investors, or influencers. They'll be the ones who know how to work with AI like a second brain. So in this video, I'm breaking down seven AI skills that can make you seriously valuable in 2026, even if you're starting from zero. This isn't hype, and obviously there are no guarantees. These are just the skills that top performers are stacking right now. And the last skill is the one that almost nobody's talking about. It's the move that has the chance to replace a lot of employees over time. So make sure you stick around for that. Let's start with the first one. One. AI design, turning ideas into reality. We're starting with this one because it gives you instant proof of what AI can actually do. The first time you describe a vibe, a style, a feeling, and watch AI turn it into a finished image in seconds, something clicks. You suddenly realize, oh, I can make ideas real instantly. And that's the entire point of AI design. You're not trying to become an artist. You're developing taste, a sense of what looks clean, intentional, and well-styled. The AI handles the execution. Your job is direction. A year ago, AI images looked questionable. Extra fingers, strange lighting, faces that didn't feel real. But now, tools like Midjourney, Leonardo, Stable Diffusion can generate clothing brand lookbooks, Pinterest style mood boards, product shots, and Photoshop AI lets you fix and refine anything in seconds. Meanwhile, Figma AI can turn those visuals into websites, landing pages, UI layouts without needing a single design class. This is where it becomes practical. Here's a real example. Say a friend tells you that they want to start a clothing brand. They don't know where to start, but they don't want to drop $600 on a designer. They just know the vibe that they want. You ask one question. Okay, describe the mood, not the clothes. And they tell you soft neutrals, cozy, quiet luxury, sort of fear of God, but something softer. You feed that into mid journey and suddenly there are 12 polished aesthetic mockups that look like a real brand campaign. Not because you're a designer, but because you knew how to translate a feeling into a visual. And that's the skill, not pushing buttons, not memorizing prompts, just being able to say more natural light, softer contrast, more minimal, and that is taste. And taste is one of the most monetizable skills today. Everybody needs online visuals, clothing brands, gyms, coffee shops. Most people don't need perfect. They just need clean, consistent, and intentional. So when you say, tell me the vibe, I'll give you four style directions, you instantly become more valuable. You're not selling images, you're selling clarity, identity, and direction. That's what people pay for, always have, and always will. So now that we can shape how something looks, let's talk about shaping how something sounds. Because visuals get attention, but words change decisions. Two, AI writing, clarity that actually lands. If design makes people look, writing is what makes them care. And AI writing isn't about letting AI write for you. That always just sounds too robotic. It's about using AI to think with you. The way that I use AI is simple. I treat it like a research assistant and an editor sitting beside me. It helps me pull the gold from messy thoughts and shape it so that it lands. I usually just talk first. I'll open my voice recorder app and just speak my thoughts the same way I'd explain them to a friend. Then I paste that into ChatGPT, Grok, or Claude and say, pull out the strongest ideas here and rewrite them in a natural tone. Keep it clear, calm, and confident, like spoken voice. Now I'm not staring at a blank page I'm starting from truth, just cleaner. Then I ask, give me three different ways to say this that feels more memorable. This is where AI shines. It gives you angles that your brain wouldn't have found alone. Let me show you a quick example so you can feel the shift. Let's say the message that you wanna share is start small and be consistent. It's a good idea, but it's pretty forgettable. So you ask AI, what's a simple everyday metaphor that captures this idea? It might return, it's like planting one seed a day, not trying to grow a forest overnight. Now the line becomes, think one seed a day, not a forest overnight. Same meaning, but now it sticks. That's the power move here. And here's why it matters. Everywhere online, whether you're posting, teaching, building, selling, or storytelling, your words are doing the work when you're not there to explain yourself. So if your writing is clear, your ideas travel further. If your writing lands, people remember you. If your writing feels human, people trust you. This skill is fast to build. You can try it today, literally after this video, record a two to three minute voice memo about something that you've been thinking about, drop it into ChatGPT, and ask it to shape it into something clean and intentional. You'll feel the difference in one session, and here's where things get interesting. If AI writing is how you shape a message, the next skill is what determines the quality of the message in the first place. Because everything you get from AI, design, writing, video tools, Depends on how you talk to it. Most people skip this. That's why the results feel generic. Real quick, if you're getting value from this so far, 
take one second and like the video. It really helps reach more people. And if you want more videos like this every week, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Three, prompt engineer, the skill that makes every other skill better. Now that we've discovered visuals and writing, we're going one layer deeper, the layer that makes everything else work. Because here's what most people don't realize. Every result that you get from AI, whether it's ChatGPT, Grok, or Claude, depends on how you talk to it. AI doesn't think, it reflects. If the input is fuzzy, the output is mid. If the direction is clear, the output suddenly feels shockingly good. This is why prompt engineering matters. Not because it's technical, but because it's the foundation behind every other AI skill. When your prompts improve, your designs gets cleaner, your writing gets sharper, your ideas land stronger. Everything becomes easier. Think of it like this. You're not asking AI to do a task. You're teaching it how to see the problem the way that you do. Most people say, write me a business idea and they get something bland and generic. But if you give AI context, it gives you clarity. Try speaking to AI like this. Act as a brand strategist. I'm helping someone who's introverted, thoughtful, and wants to make money online without being the face of the brand. Suggest three business models that feel calm, simple, and low stress and explain why it fits their personality. See the shift? You didn't just ask for answers. You shaped the lens AI should think through. That's the real skill. Here's another example. The person who struggles says, write me an email. The person who excels says, here's who I'm talking to. Here's what they care about. Here's what I want them to feel and do. Help me shape the message so that it lands clearly. One of those is outsourcing. The other one is collaboration. And collaboration is where all the leverage is. Once you understand how to direct AI like this, you stop hoping it gives you something good and you start knowing exactly how to get something good. That's the shift that makes everything else in this video actually work. If you want my exact prompting frameworks, the ones that I use for scripts, captions, storytelling, I put them all inside a free guide called the Creator Ecosystem Blueprint. It walks you through how to build a personal brand and then turn that brand into a system of revenue streams along with all the prompts that I actually use. It's linked below, totally free. Use it as your starting point. Okay, now that you know how to communicate clearly with AI, let's move into something that most people don't realize that they can do yet. Building actual tools without writing code. This is where the ceiling of your value starts to rise fast. Four, no code AI app development. Building tools without knowing how to code. This is where most people underestimate themselves because most people here build software, they immediately think, I need to learn to code. That's too technical. That's not for me, but that's outdated. Right now, non-technical people are building software every day. Using AI to handle the logic and the wiring, your job isn't the programmer, your job is to be the translator of a problem. You describe what needs to happen and the AI handles the heavy lifting. And here's the mindset shift. You're not building apps, you're building solutions and solutions get paid. So let me show you how simple that this can be. Say a personal trainer keeps track of client workouts in a messy Google sheet. Every week they copy data, rewrite plans, update progress and text everything manually. Annoying, repetitive, easy to mess up. So you go ahead and ask ChatGPT, act as a no-code developer. Help me build a simple web app where a trainer can log client names, goals, progress notes, weekly workout blocks, and let them generate a clean PDF plan with one click. Then you also paste and build it using Replit or build it using Bubble. The AI literally creates the layout, writes the code, shows you where to paste it, and tells you how to deploy it. Your role is just to describe what the tool should do. That's it. No coding, directing. And where do the best ideas come from? Not brainstorming, but conversation. Talk to real people, coaches, small business owners, creators. Just ask them a simple question. What do you find yourself doing over and over? There's your app. If it saves them time, they'll pay. If it wins back energy, they'll pay. If it removes stress, they'll pay. People don't buy software, they buy relief. The first version doesn't need to be perfect. You're not building a Silicon Valley startup. You're building tiny tools that solve real annoyances for real humans. And those kind of tools, they spread fast. Someone uses it, shows a friend, shows another. Now you're the person who builds solutions. That's reputation, identity, and leverage. And now you know how to shape visuals, shape words, and shape the AI itself. Now we're ready for the skill that turns all of this into attention and distribution because skills mean nothing if no one sees you. Five, AI content marketing, making people pay for attention. At this point, you know how to create. You can design visuals, you can write with clarity, you can build small tools that solve real problems, but none of that matters if nobody sees what you're doing. This is where most people fall off. They learn skills, but they never learn how to communicate the value of those skills. And that's what AI content marketing is really about. 
not about going viral, not trends, not forcing content. It's about making your ideas easy for people to understand and care about. If AI design is how something looks, and AI writing is how something sounds, then AI content marketing is how something spreads. Think of it like this. Every day, there are thousands of people who would resonate deeply with your story, your perspective, your humor, your lessons, your taste, but they simply haven't seen you yet. Your job isn't to be loud. Your job is to show up consistently in a way that just feels natural to you. AI just makes that part easier because once you have one long form idea, even just a voice memo, a paragraph, a conversation, AI can help you turn it into a TikTok, a newsletter paragraph, a caption, a tweet, without having to constantly think about what to post. You're not creating more, you're repurposing what is already true to you. Imagine you talk to your friend about something that you've learned recently. Maybe it's why rushing progress actually slows you down, how one routine actually helps your anxiety. The moment you realize that you were comparing yourself too much, there's emotion in that. There's humanity, there's honesty. You drop that conversation into chat TBT and say, pull the key message from this, rewrite it in my natural voice, keep it simple, calm, and grounded. Then suggest three different ways that I could share it online. Now you're not just trying to make content, you're documenting your perspective and letting AI help you express it clearly. When your message comes from something real, people feel it, they respond to it, they share it, and this is where everything begins to compound. This is exactly why I created the Creator Ecosystem Blueprint, because most people hit this point and go, okay, but how do I build all of this into an identity, a brand, a system? So I'll put everything into one free guide, how to build a personal brand that feels authentic, how to create content that compounds, how to turn your skills into an income ecosystem. And yes, it also includes the exact prompt frameworks that I personally use to create, write, plan, and structure content. It's linked below totally free, just something to actually help you start. Because once you know how to communicate clearly and show up consistently, you're ready for the next skill that's going to define the next era of work. And almost nobody is learning it yet. Six, AI data analysis, seeing what other people miss. We're moving into the skill that quietly separates people who try things from the people who actually make progress. Most people, creators, businesses, even teams with budgets are making decisions based on assumptions. They think that they know what's working, but they rarely check. AI data analysis is simply the ability to look at what's already happened and understand why. And once you can do that, your decisions get noticeably better very quickly. Here's an example. Say you're helping someone grow TikTok content. They believe that their motivational videos do the best because those are their favorites to make. But when you pull their last 40 posts into an AI like Claude or ChatGPT and ask them, show me the pattern in the top five performing videos and compare them to the bottom five. It might tell you the best videos start with a relatable problem in the first second. The weaker videos start with explanation before emotion. Now you're no longer guessing what to make next. You're responding to what's already proven to land. This skill isn't about spreadsheets or being good at math. It's about the habit of asking what's actually happening here instead of what do I feel like is happening? And this matters more now than ever because the internet moves fast. Attention shifts, trends rotate. What worked three months ago might not work today. AI lets you keep track of those shifts without spending hours digging. It's like having a second brain constantly noticing patterns that you would have missed. And once you're able to see what's actually working, you're ready for the final skill. The skill that allows work to get done even when you're not the one doing it. Where you stop just using AI and start building systems that run on their own. Seven, no code AI agents, work that runs without you. This is the part where everything that we've talked about starts to come together. Because once you know how to communicate clearly with AI, write clearly, build small tools, and analyze what works, you eventually hit a realization that you don't actually need to do every task yourself. You can design the system that does the task for you. That's what AI agents are. Not robots, but small specialized workflows that follow instructions that you design. They do things like answer customer support questions, send follow-up messages, sort and organize data, generate weekly reports, the kind of tasks that drain your mental energy every single day. Instead of you repeating the same steps, you teach the AI how to do it once, then it repeats forever. And here's what changed recently. This used to require coding, but now OpenAI just released something called the Agent Kit. It lets you build AI agents that follow instructions step-by-step, step, take real actions, connect to apps like Slack, Notion, Gmail, Stripe, CRMs, no engineering background needed. You just map the process in plain language. When a new client signs up, send me a welcome message, create their folder, add them to the CRM, 
schedule their onboarding call, send confirmation, and the agent follows that workflow automatically the same way that a reliable assistant would. Except it never gets tired, never forgets steps, never needs reminders. Say you run a small online service. Every time that you get a new client, you repeat the same exact setup process, welcome email, intake form, calendar link, folder setup, even if it just takes only 10 minutes each time. That's hours every single month that you're spending. But with an AI agent built through AgentKit and Zapier, you design it once and it runs every time perfectly. Your attention stops getting eaten by admin tasks. Your brain gets to stay in idea mode, not reset mode. This isn't something that you start with. You kind of grow into it by learning how to express ideas clearly, how to guide visual direction, how to build small tools, how to analyze feedback. Then suddenly building agents feel obvious, not overwhelming. And when that happens, your relationship to work changes. You're not just producing output anymore. You're designing systems. The work continues even when you stop. Not everybody needs to become an AI expert, but everyone who learns how to design workflows instead of doing everything manually is going to move faster with less effort. Your time becomes more valuable. Your attention becomes sharper. Your work starts to compound. Start small, pick one skill, stack the next one when it feels natural. You don't need a rush. You just need to begin. And again, if you want help with how to actually use these skills, especially to build a personal brand or a business, I put everything inside the creator ecosystem blueprint. Inside, I show how I use AI to build content efficiently, how to structure your online presence, how to turn skills into offers, and all of my actual prompt frameworks. It's linked below if you want it. See you in the next one.